hello yeah uh, it's been a while so today I wanted to share a, a big IP configuration that could cause uh, a, a time weight TCP time weight problem and a TCP collection problem so here is a uh, sample of packet capture. Say, um, uh, so if this this is a fast of fast L four virtual configuration, uh, it's on a, a big IP seventy eight platform, hardware platform, and so so first. Uh, uh, the client send the SIM packet. So this is a SIM packet from the client to the big IP. And uh, so big IP, as you know, the fast O4 virtual server. What the what the fast O4 virtual server does is uh, it translates the uh, destination IP uh, to the pool member server IP. And also uh, since this the fast O4 also has a, a slat uh, a source address translation enabled, so it or it also translate the source IP address, the client IP address. And uh, but uh, also notice here uh, the SIM packet from the client to the big IP virtual server. Uh, the listener port is four four three. Uh, but uh, uh, when big IP send the packet to the server, the server is listening on port nine nine four four three. So the virtual listener port is different than the uh, server listening port. So here is a problem. Uh, we have the virtual listener port uh, different than the uh, pool member server listening port. It uh, in big IP it can cause uh, source port reuse. Often, uh, it can cause source port reuse uh, more often uh, than the standard configuration, like using same uh, listening port on the virtual IP and uh, ser pool server. Uh, listening listening port. That's uh, uh, that's the way it does. That's the internal algorithm in the in the big IP. So uh, again, we don't recommend this uh, configuration, uh, which is uh, using uh, virtual IP virtual listening port, uh, which is configure virtual listening port to be different than the. Uh, server listening port. So here is a here is the example to show the actual failure and the, the reason why it failed. Uh, so here is a, a SIM packet from the client to the big IP. Big IP forwarded the SIM packet SIM packet to the to the um, uh, server uh, and uh, and. Uh, well, I I skipped the thin act and the act uh, three way handshake. So so let's go to the thin act uh, uh, close collection. So uh, then after all the the application transmission and uh, the server send the thin act uh, to close the TCP collection. So this is a four way thin uh, act uh, TCP close session. And the server is the one to send the thing act first, so which means the the server will be in a, a time wait uh, state. So uh, again, here uh, the server send the thing act, and the and the client uh, send the thing act. Okay, so uh, the first the collection is closed uh, at the server side, 
and uh, then so here is another uh, okay so so that's the first collection uh, closed yeah so servers in the FinAC, uh big IP forwarded the FinAC to the client and uh, client send a FinAC. Uh, big IP forwarded the FinAC to the server. So four way TCP collection finished. Uh, both at the uh, big IP client side and the server side. And the server is at a time weight. Uh, okay. So here's the problem. Here's the second collection coming in uh, from the same client and uh, big IP forward the uh, stain to the server uh, but it, but it noticed it used at the server side it used the same uh, source port uh, 56 226 uh, here again here is the first collection at the server side uh, 56 226 so the added the server side big IP reused the uh, source port uh, in a very short uh, period like here is a 12 11 second 12 minutes 12 11 12 minutes 11 second here is um, 11 minute 58 second so it's like uh, about 13 second right so it's about a 13 second TCP uh, big IP reused the source port 56 to to six because the first collection at a server side the, the server is at time weight state and uh, so big IP reused the uh, the source port for the uh, reuse the source port and uh, which actually should be fine if uh, if if the sequence is uh, is uh, is uh, if the second the, if the sequence of the second collection is okay is smaller than the uh, than the previous collection but here is a problem uh, let's look at the the second uh, sim packet sequence number. It's a start with 18, but if you look back at the first collection, the the sequence number is uh, th start with 34, which is bigger than the second uh, than the second uh, sync packet. So this will not work. So and then you also notice here is a so the collection failed. And you can see the both client side and the server side is uh, retransmitting the uh, sim packet, no sim act from the server. And uh, so that's the problem here. And uh, we our product development has uh, explanation here, like. Uh, uh, when a collection is closed actively, it must linger in time with the state for time of 2x MXL max segment lifetime uh, period, which usually is like uh, 1 20 second, to about two minutes, two minutes usually. So, uh, however, it may accept uh, accept a new scene from the uh, cl remote collection to reopen the collection directly, uh, even when the server is at a time weight state. So, but it has two conditions. First, uh, the the initial sequence number for the new collection, the SIMPACT collection, uh, must be larger than the uh, largest sequence number. Uh, than the uh, previous uh, collection and uh, a second condition 
return to the time wait state if the thing turns out to be an old duplicate. Uh, so if the, the second syntax uh, 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 has, has duplicate, has duplicate sequence number uh, of in the previous collection, uh, the server uh, keep in the time wait state. So, but but in this scenario, but in this scenario, the the second uh, uh, collection, the same packet sequence number, is smaller than the previous uh, sequence number. You can see here, right? So the server will not accept such collection. And uh, so why I'm saying that probably is caused by big IP uh, configuration uh, because you, as you notice here, actually the client uh, originally is using a different source port. So here the source port is a uh, 346678, and then at a server side, the big IP translated the source port. Uh, use 56226, right? So for the second collection, the client used the source port 37360, uh, which is different than, uh, than the first uh, uh, collection source port from client. But because Big IP has to translate the source port on, at the server side, so it reused this. Uh, same source port 56226. So, so, right? So, Big IP uh, do the uh, source IP translation, source port translation, uh, destination IP translation, uh, and uh, when it do the source port translation uh, internally, it did uh, in, internal algorithm doesn't work that well, so uh, and and it has it also has some other reasons. Uh, so it you reuse the port uh, frequently, uh, and uh, uh, and also the problem is uh, from the client side. From the client side, the same packet uh, because it's using a different source port. So it, it is reasonable the second collection uh, from originally from the client, it could have sequence number uh, smaller than the first uh, collection uh, from the same source IP because it's uh, from the uh, client perspective, uh, it is different collection because the source port is different. So the sequence number can be smaller for the first packet. For the second collection, but when the big IP translated uh, the source port uh, to reuse the same source port, but without, uh, uh, but uh, since this is a fast O4 virtual server, it does not uh, uh, change the sequence num uh, TCP sequence number, so uh, it needs to uh, uh, reuse the same source port. But with a smaller sequ sequence number, and the result in the server fail to uh, accept the collection. Uh, so this is uh, uh, again, this does not happen if you configure a virtual a fast O4 virtual server listener port uh, to be same as the uh, uh, server listener port uh, uh, for the for this configuration. Um, the TCP re, uh, port, re, source port reuse will not happen uh, frequently as this uh, in this case, and uh, yeah. So I just want to share uh, uh, this uh, knowledge and uh, and uh, keep in mind when you configure uh, fast L4 virtual server, uh, it, it is uh, recommended to configure the virtual server listening port. Uh, same as the server listening port, and uh, oh yeah, and, and there are another uh, workaround which is um, uh, which is uh, 
uh, if your server supports the timestamp option, uh, so in the same packet, uh, uh, if you have a TCP option timestamp, uh, so this is same packet from the uh, from the client and from the uh, and from the uh, big IP, uh, both support the timestamp, but in the same in the same act packet. Uh, uh, Big IP, uh, the server does not uh, support uh, timestamp, and uh, so if you if if uh, the server can enable timestamp option, uh, uh, the problem can also be avoided. Uh, for example, here is the uh, here is the server syntax uh, in the uh, TCP option. There is no timestamp option, and uh, so. Uh, yeah, also keep that in mind. Okay, so that's for today.